Hi everybody, Sandra Duran Wilson here and I've got my ampersand flutter frame that I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this painting that I finished into this floater frame and ampersand's done a really great job at making these frames to work with these wood panels. Most floater frames that you get are made to put for putting um, stretched canvases on wood stretcher bars that are much wider and you have to jump through all these weird hoops and stuff to get it to work on a, a regular floater frame. So they came up with this cool design and I am going to show you how easy it is. I've got all my materials here and my instructions, my drill, little screwdriver and I'm going to show you the front side. I'm going to start with flipping this over. First thing I've done is I've checked to make sure I have all my uh, supplies and materials, which I do. The other cool thing is, is that they give you options of doing this with flat panels. So if you don't have this cradle, which is this wood, comes in three quarter inch or one and a half inch, you get your frame accordingly. But if you have a flat panel, it gives you these specially sized little pieces to use. So I've got a three quarter inch panel and I'm going to flip this painting over. I've got my towel down to protect the painting. Get this back in here. Oops. I guess I should have it the right way. Operator error. All right, so according, they've got great directions. They tell you how to do all this stuff. Um, I actually took part of the packing material as per their instructions, and I cut off a piece and bent it over. And what this is going to do is it's going to hold the painting in place um, and keep it from moving when I go to... Let me just, I'll show you how I did this. So, I just cut this piece off from the packaging. You get to recycle everything too. Let's see if I can do it. And then I just kind of oh, bend it in half. Okay. And I'm going to stick it over in here. All right, so now I've got this piece centered in here, and I can flip this over, and it's not going to move. I'm going to flip it this way. Oops. Well, it moves some, but it's, uh, and I'm checking it this way. You see how you can line this up, and you can make sure that it's centered? Okay. Looks pretty good. Let's straighten that out a little. And straighten that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my drill and I'm going to drill pilot holes. All right, let's get my screws. They give you everything. They even give you that hanger to go on the wall. They give you the wire. They give you little bumpers for the back and the screws to hang your wire and the nail to go in your hanger on the wall. I mean, how cool is this? Everything you need. So, you can use a drill to get these in. You can hand screw it. Let's see. Drilling a pilot hole is important so that you don't split your wood. That's good. Pop this over. I'm going to take these out. How simple Another is that? Little tip when you go to put your uh, eye screws on, 
I use the nail that they give you for hanging on the wall and I put it in and then make a little pilot hole for the eye hook get that started and then I use the, the nail itself to help rotate the eye hook so it's nice and tight in there. Then I can put the wire screws in. I use the nail as I showed you to make a little hole and then I twisted the eye screws in. This wire is a coated hanging wire and I found out it's a bit slippery so just twisting it doesn't seem to hold it really well. So what I've done is I've gone in and I've actually tied a knot here and then I'm going to come back in and loop it through one more time and see if that will take care of that issue of it slipping.